Hello everyone. Uh, I don't really show uh, games between two engines on my channel, but uh, I don't I don't consider Alpha Zero to be an engine that uses brute force. Uh, you know, uh, it taught itself to play chess in four hours, so I'm sure very soon he will be uh, a valuable member of the chess community. Uh, so this is uh, w one of the games uh, played between DeepMind and Stockfish, and um, uh, people are saying that uh, you know it's not the latest version of Stockfish and that. Uh, uh, Alpha Zero was run on a much more powerful computer, uh, but still, you know, it had four hours. Uh, maybe, maybe give it like uh, two days, and then you know, organize a match with the uh, all-knowing and all-powerful uh, top-tier Stockfish. So that that would be an interesting event as well. And you know, uh, <laughs> Putin is uh, probably already writing a big check uh, to DeepMind to acquire this uh, Alpha Zero thingy. Uh, to prepare Karakin for the candidates, that's, uh, you know, uh, it would be amazing uh, what uh, what chess players could could do having uh, Alpha Zero to prepare them, you know. At, uh, it would probably completely change the way chess is played, but, uh, you know, we can only speculate for now, we'll just, we'll just see where this goes. Uh, so this is uh, one other game I chose. It's um, it's the same variation as in the previous game, but uh, with one different move from Stockfish that changes uh, the course of the game. So let's see it. We have knight to f3, uh, knight f6, d4, e6, and c4. Uh, and b6. Again, we have the queen's Indian defense. Uh, g3, bishop to b7, bishop to g2. Uh, all the same as in the previous game. Bishop e7, uh, alpha 0 castles, Stockfish castles. Uh, d5, e captures on d5, and now knight to h4, again the same as in the previous game. Uh, c6, c captures on d5, knight captures on d5, and knight to f5. Uh, knight to c7 now, getting that knight out of the way, all the same as in the previous game, and e4. And uh, here a stockfish takes a, a different approach. Instead of playing uh, bishop to f6, like in the previous game, uh, after knight to d6 and uh, attacking this bishop on b7, Stockfish really uh, got into a terrible position. So after e4, uh, d5 now, and this does seem like more, well, it seems like a more human move to me. Uh, but, it, you know, it's better than keep your pawn stranded on d7. Uh, so e captures on d5, knight captures on d5, and knight to c3. Uh, Stockfish captures the knight. Knight captures on c3 and uh, not b, b captures on c3, but queen to g4 uh, by alpha 0. Already threatening checkmate on g7. Uh, g6, knight to h6 with check, uh, king, to h, uh, king to g7, and only now b captures on c3. Uh, Stockfish plays bishop to c8 uh, with a tempo on the queen, uh, queen to f4 now, and queen to d6, uh, wanting to exchange queens. Uh, now queen to a4. Uh, g5, and uh, here Stockfish is now threatening to capture the knight as the bishop is no longer protecting it. Um, and uh, white, I mean, uh, alpha 0 could go for something like knight g4, uh, and after f5, knight e3, but, uh, you know, it's, it seems okay for black, from my perspective. Uh, but instead, after g5, uh, it doesn't retreat the knight, instead, uh, alpha 0 plays rook to e1. It, it gives up the knight on h6. Uh, king captures on h6 and h4, and already you can see a lot of similarities uh, from the previous game I've shown you. Uh, this rook and the knight are not getting into the game, as, as uh, alpha 0 is not allowing it. Uh, f6 now, uh, and the bishop to e3. Uh, bishop to f5, and now rook a to d1 with a tempo on the queen. Uh, queen to a3, stockfish again wants to exchange queens. Uh, queen to c4 now and b5. We have h captures on g5 with check, f captures on g5, and queen to h4. Check now uh, as the g5 pawn is pinned. Uh, king to g6, and here we have uh, a, a great move. Uh, alpha 0 plays queen to h1. And what's the idea here? The idea here is that it's very hard uh, to find a move for black. Um, you can't really improve uh, on the position, and you can't develop any of these pieces. Uh, if you try and get the knight into the game, for example, with knight to d7, uh, you don't capture the pawn here or, or anything like that, but you play g4. And now, if bishop captures on g4, uh, 
Uh, then you have bishop to uh, e4 check, bishop blocks, and now rook captures on d7. Uh, you just lost the piece. I, I mean, I mean and, and you're still getting attacked, so uh, alpha 0 wins the piece back. Uh, so after g4, you'd have to go for probably something like bishop to e6, uh, but now you're getting checkmated. And now bishop to e4, uh, you have to block this or you get queen captures on h7. So after rook to f5, captures, 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 and something like king to f7, uh, queen captures on h7, check, uh, king e8, and bishop captures on g5. Uh, the rook, the bishop, the queen are all eyeing that e7 bishop. There is no defense against this. You're, you're getting checkmated. So after queen to h1, uh, king to g7 uh, was now played. Uh, we have bishop to e4, uh, bishop back to g6, bishop captures, h captures, and now queen to h3. Uh, with some ideas of bringing the queen uh, to e6, uh, also the queen is uh, adding more pressure to the d7 uh, square. And if you play something like uh, knight to a6 to try and develop, again you lose the rook to d7. Uh, now this bishop is pinned, bishop to d4 is coming, and uh, this will be terrible, this will be... Uh, also black is getting checkmated. So after queen to h3, bishop to f6, getting the bishop out of the way, uh, and king to g2, now making ro room for this rook to come to h1. Uh, queen captures on a2, and now rook to h1. Uh, we have queen to g8, uh, going back to the defense, the threat was uh, queen to h7 checkmate, uh, c4 now. Uh, if black captures, uh, it would only ruin its uh, pawn structure, so rook to e8 instead. Uh, we have bishop to d4, bishop captures, rook captures, and rook to d8. Uh, uh, Stockfish wants to exchange rooks. But rook captures on d8, queen captures on d8, and we have queen to e6. And it's, again, uh, you're up a piece, but uh, like in the previous game, uh, Stockfish can't develop e neither this rook or the knight. And maybe, maybe Alpha Zero is telling us something here about the Queen's Indian defense. Uh, so uh, here, Knight to d7 was played by Stockfish, and this is met with Rook to d1. But it doesn't matter if Knight to a6 is played, then Queen to e5 wins the game immediately. Uh, if you play Queen f6, then Rook to h7 wins the Queen. And uh, if you play something like King to g8, then Rook h8 check. King f7, Rook h7 check. King f8 and Queen h8, uh, this is checkmate. So after queen to e6, knight to d7 was played, rook to d1 now pinning the knight. There's nothing black can do here. Uh, knight to c5, now with a tempo on white queen, uh, but rook captures, knight captures, and rook captures rook. And now Stockfish is up two pawns, but again he's uh, down the exchange like in the previous game. And uh, this is easily winning for white. So we'll just... Uh, show how, how the end game went uh, i mean it's a uh, and and yeah i accidentally said in my previous video that stockfish was probably rated somewhere around 2400 of course i meant th uh, 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 3400 not 2400 uh, so g4 and uh, f3 we have here knight f7 uh, the rook is simply too powerful uh, he's gonna gobble up all of the pawns and uh, here after this king to d4 move and uh, it's very satisfying to say this next sentence uh, in this position stockfish resigned the game this is something you probably never hear i mean whenever you heard something like this uh, you should uh, try saying it it's it's very satisfying so yeah uh, that's the game uh, that's uh, that's alpha zero for you and i'm, I'm very happy to, i'm very uh, you know looking forward uh, to seeing uh, where this goes and uh, will will they continue you know feeding alpha zero uh, not feeding him but allowing him to learn even more uh, okay now he's learning chess but you know uh, using this algorithm i'm sure he can uh, learn pretty much anything uh, may maybe even uh, maybe it can even uh, teach Ma max deutsch how to defeat magnus carlsen in one month so yeah, uh, I would like to thank uh, Leon and Alambert for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot, I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Uh, the upper left game will be uh, the other game played by uh, Alpha Zero. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, I will see you soon.